G'day Ziggy D here and today I'm going to be bringing you a quick Diablo 3 commentary on the brand new Roa route. In case you haven't heard about Roa, he's another Diablo 3 YouTuber with the channel name Last Hope for Roa. He's got a ton of sick guides on his channel so I'll throw a link to him in the description below. So this route is based on pure maximum XP per hour and for a Demon Hunter it's reported to be about 30% faster than the Alkaiser route. Melee characters might find it a bit slower, and if you're using a Wrath of the Berserker or an Archon spec, then you're just going to have to test out whether or not it works for you. My Cinder Strafe spec has more in common with melee specs than it does with the ranged Demon Hunter specs like Rowers, so we'll see how well it works out for me at the end when we do the math for the run. It's also worth noting that times can vary per run by quite a bit depending on things like shrines and elite affixes, so one run is really only good enough for a rough idea of potential. By the way, I'll put a link in an annotation to my Sindistray farming build in case you want to check it out in more detail. If you haven't seen it before, it's a build I developed for as fast as possible low monster power farming. Initially it was just a fun distraction from the cookie cutter builds, but after a bit of practice it actually ended up being more efficient for me than the standard specs. It's a lot of fun, so if you're interested in giving it a go, check out the build video. So Roa's a bit of a beast when it comes to Paragon farming. From what I've seen he has at least 3 Paragon 100 characters, which is a pretty impressive feat. So the man's got some serious experience to throw towards the creation of a new route like this. I like his methodology for coming up with this particular route as well. He basically did a bunch of testing for each zone in the act and then came up with the three best ones and just kind of chucked them together. Instead of aiming for as much 5 stack farming as possible like with the Alkaiser route, you instead just hit the top three best XP areas as quickly as possible and then remake the game. If you want a fast run that you can do in the couple minutes before you have to go to work or school, then this is it. The route is basically this. Start off by taking the waypoint to the Tower of the Cursed level 1 and head up the stairs getting the checkpoint at the same time. Then clear Ariat Crater 2, the Keep Depths 2 and Rakus Crossing. And that's it. Pretty simple stuff. While I like the design of the Alkaza route in regards to getting 5 stacks in high elite low trash density areas and then hitting the high trash density areas for the XP, the simplicity of Roha's XP route is pretty sweet stuff. I do admire efficiency and simplicity, as attractive as more complex options can look on the surface. Sorry about the stuttery frame rate in this recording by the way, the combination of the speed of strafe and the poison effect from the manticore really kills my frame rate while recording. The good news is that I'm going to be building myself a huge new gaming and recording rig pretty soon. It's going to have a pretty serious CPU in it, so you guys can look forward to smooth frame rates for my recordings, hopefully in a month or two's time. So I've done about 5 runs of this route now and it feels pretty good. The Grenades rune that I use on Strafe for this build works really well in tight areas and pretty much all three areas in this route have lots of walls for the grenades to bounce off. The only thing I don't like is those bloody shielding fatties. Whenever I get an elite pack of them it adds an extra 30 seconds onto my run at least. They both shield and run away so it makes them a pain to hit with the grenades. I might end up testing out the Rocket Strafe rune for this route just to see if it's a bit more efficient. Overall the run feels pretty efficient. But I can see it getting boring in the long run since there's a lot less variety in zones when compared to the Alkaiser runs or the Big 6 runs. I think if you want to do some serious XP farming using this shorter route, then it might be a good idea to occasionally extend it out to hit some other areas just for a bit of fun. In the end, there's no real reason why you can't go to the Fields of Slaughter and then to Stonefort if you feel like it after you finish Ruckus. So now let's get into the math for this run to see how it worked out for me. The run itself went for about 7 minutes 35. I started at just over 5 million experience and ended up at 12,100,000 experience, uh, which is a total of 7,138,189 experience for the run. Mathing this out gives us about 56.5 million experience for the run, which is about on par with my Alkaiser runs. Considering I haven't practiced this run anywhere near as much as the Alkaiser run, and that I may need to adjust my spec a little bit, uh, I'd say this is pretty good. All I can say for you guys is to test it out and do the math and see how it works for your class and build. I'll be testing it out more with my spec and at the very least I can see it becoming a viable alternative to the Archiser run for me. Anyway, that's it for today. Make sure you go check out Roa's channel if you haven't already subscribed to it. I'm Ziggy D and thanks for watching.